So this is an example of uh, an inactive rock glacier. We call it inactive because the slope is not that steep as it would be in an active rock glacier. Also, we can listen the meltwater uh, coming out of the rock glacier. So this means that ice is present in the rock glacier, but then it is not uh, quite visible. In active rock glacier, you see ice visible in many uh, parts of the rock glacier. You also see a very steep front and then you also see uh, uh, patterns that are longitudinal and transverse in nature and that uh, indicates flow and that flow is like uh, um, quite visible but in an in inactive rock glacier the flow is not so visible because the patterns are absent or they are rudimentary but then uh, you identify it as an inactive rock glacier because of the meltwater coming out of it and also presence of ice uh, somewhere which is visible if it is on the surface. Last year we had installed a station here. We missed this station, but luckily we found the tidbit logger. So we'll analyze what is the temperature profile uh, near the terminus of an inactive rock glacier using the data.